has experienced that immense pressure of competing on the world stage. She's the most decorated U.S. woman gymnast in Olympics history with a total of seven medals in Barcelona and Atlanta. And look who's here, Shannon Miller herself. <laughs> you, you know, most of us can never relate to the kind of pressure that on, that's on Biles. You can. Help us understand. Oh, it's always hard to put yourself in the position of another athlete because every athlete comes to the games with their individual experiences and uh, what they're dealing with, not only inside the gym and the pressures surrounding the sport, but uh, but everything that's going on in their life. And so uh, I, I don't want to conjecture about what's going through Simone's mind. Bio's mind, but um, I can just say as an athlete, there's nobody that could uh, put more pressure on myself than me. Uh, I want to go out there. I'm competing for my country. I want to make sure that I'm not falling. I don't want to fail. I don't want to let everyone down. And you you take that to heart when you're out there competing for something so much bigger than yourself. And, and it really is just taking that time to really focus and um, make sure that you're working on the mental game just as much as you are the physical game. You know, how tough is it to flip that switch. I mean, you've just stopped one thing for whatever your reasons. Now you got to come do something similar. I mean, that doesn't sound easy. No, I think, you know, and any athlete's going to tell you the mental aspect of sport is so critical. Um, what I think is really important here is you have Simone who clearly knew something wasn't quite right. And when you are flying and flipping and turning 10, 15 feet above the floor looking for a landing, you better be in the right headspace or really bad things are going to happen. And so she knew enough about herself and her own body and her own awareness to say, this is this is not the day. And let me just take a breath and, and see what lies next. We've all been focusing on mental health a lot more through the pandemic and now through these Olympics. That's been one of your main lanes lately. H help us understand this progress. Well, I think for me, I, so I'm a huge advocate for women's health and wellness. I have been for over a decade. Um, my work relays more around cancer awareness, um, but it is so important to, to include mental health along with our physical health and our emotional health, and we have to stay on top of it. And I think it's really hard sometimes to make our health a priority because oftentimes we're taking care of everyone else. And that's not just athletes, that's moms, that's just people going out and living our lives through this pandemic and otherwise. And I, my message is really just to get back to care, get those screenings and get to those appointments and take stock, take awareness of your own body, because there is no one that's a better advocate for your own health than you are. You, you know, back in 96, who can forget Carrie Strug fighting off intense pain and winning that gold medal? Everybody applauded her as a hero. She tweeted that she was sending love to Simone this afternoon. You know, today some are calling Simone Biles heroic for being brave enough not to compete, but to take care of her mental health. What a change. How do you see it? <laughs> I think, you know, every experience is different. And I think we all show bravery in, in different ways. And so I think you can't really compare the two moments. Um, I can say that as the 25th anniversary of the 96 games, um, it does bring back a lot of those great memories and, and just being so proud of being able to represent the U.S. and, uh, and uh, it bring home the first gold. But um, yeah, I think it's so important for the message to be sent that it is important to be aware of your body, be aware of your emotional state and your mental state as well. Well, I think that's a good message for all of us. Shannon M Miller, the incredible memories just seeing and having you here. Thank, thank you so much. Enjoy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.